Howdy gamers, this is Game Sergeant Scurry, and today I'm going to be starting a new series where I basically uh, review uh, controllers for the Wii U. Um, the reason being is I got quite a bit of different Wii U controllers. Um, I got, I think I got four different Wii U Pro controllers, including this one you see right here. Um, I got a classic controller, um, a third party one that I want to review, and then there's also a couple other ones that I'll review as well. And um, I know that most of these are third party controllers, including this one you see right here. But the thing is, even though it's a third party controller, as many good things that or bad things that you know each one of them has, there's also some good things that they um, come with. So let me go ahead and start out with this. Um, Power A Pro Controller. I believe that's um, mainly what it's called. Yeah, I, I, I don't think it. I think it's just called the Power A Pro Controller. So, um, let me go ahead and bring up the regular standard Wii U Pro Controller to show you what the main difference is. As you can clearly see, it's pretty much. I'd even say it's like half the size of this controller. Cause yeah, it's it's only like if you bring it right here you can see it easy. It's only like this it's only like an inch, you know uh thinner, I guess. But it's also like an inch shorter and an inch, you know um thinner, you know, from from back to front. So I'd, I'd even say it's half the size and as you can also see like with how I'm holding it you can barely see like it, wherever my thumbs are you can barely see the rest of the controller with the regular pro controller you can see pretty much most of the controller if where my thumbs even with my thumbs on you can see most of the controller but with with this one you can barely see it now that's not to say I don't like this controller. Actually, despite how small it is, and uh, bear in mind that I I do have relatively, I'm not gonna say small hands, but they're not very bulky. They're pretty average, I guess you could say. But um, so uh, with this controller, it actually feels quite comfortable. Now, after using the regular standard controller, you will have to get used to it. But um, the main draw to this controller, and it's pretty obvious, is that the buttons, the face buttons, and the uh, right analog stick are reversed. So now um, it's basically shaped to look like the standard Xbox 360 controller with the face buttons in their usual Nintendo spots which doesn't really throw me off because I'm used to playing Nintendo games, but if anyone wants to switch games to like a, a Nintendo game, they'll have to get used to, um, you know, this this button layout. But, um, like if someone would want to, to ever get a Wii U to play, I don't know, Smash or something, then, and, and if they like just came off of the Xbox One or something, this would be the controller I would look for because it still has that classic Xbox layout. It's just that, oh, and and Smash does let you customize your button layout, so um, this shouldn't be that much of a problem for you. The only problem I can see is that you know the controller is small, which um, even though it's small, it does. Like I said, it's really comfortable. Um, in my opinion, it's pretty comfortable. So. Um, now, just because it's comfortable doesn't mean the buttons are easy to get to. Now, the face buttons, because I'm used to the Pro Controller and the face buttons, you know, having to move my thumb where the analog stick is usually is to, to hit the buttons, you know, this one feels a little bit like... This also makes the controller feel small because, like, you know, I can, I can feel, like... Normally, even when I use the analog stick on the regular Pro Controller, I usually don't 
ever like have to touch my touch you know the palm of my hand to hit the button or to hit the analog stick with here if I hit the A button like I can feel that I'm hitting the A button uh, it's just something I notice but um, another thing is because it's a pretty small controller the um, you know the trigger and bumper buttons okay here well here's another interesting thing about the trigger and bumpers so the triggers are actually pr pr pretty much the same as the regular um, pro controller they do have a little like a little hook or something that you know juts off the back of them you see right there whereas the regular pro controller does not but the other thing is the, these controllers like click it's a, it's almost like the DS controller whereas the whereas the um, you know the regular pro controllers they're kind of like you, you can tell that they kind of have a rubber thing to them but these you can hear them being clicked from a mile away and this uh, that doesn't really bother me but I can I like if I was playing smash or something on on stream or something we'd be able to tell I was using this controller just by hearing like me hit this button all the time so and um, I will say that the start and or plus and minus buttons are kind of far away um, but uh, that's that's a minor issue because I barely use like the games I play you barely hit start anyway oh yeah and on the back um, you know this is the uh, sync button it's actually oh it does glow when it's on in fact I'm gonna I'm gonna okay so this is the power button um, like they replaced the power symbol with power a instead which um, oh well so I'm gonna turn the Wii one so that I can show you what this button does so um, this you know this this controller says that it really it, it'll glow like it has an internal glowing thing but you can barely see it I, I don't even think I don't even think it will go. Oh wait, I have to turn it off. Duh. So, like, you can kind of see it glowing where the buttons are, but that's about it. Like, you, like I bet if I turn the lights off or something, it just barely noticeable that I even turn the lights off. Oh well. Yeah, it the the glow is barely noticeable, and it's. I mean, if they made the buttons like clear or something, it would be a lot more noticeable. So it just feels very unnecessary to have this in there. But uh, now let's talk about the analog stick. So now they actually now because this controller is relatively smaller, I'm gonna I'm gonna turn the Wii U back off. The, the analog sticks also feel small, and they're I mean they're small enough to where if you're like flicking them or something, you, you might lose control of them. But they um, they do have this kind of texture to them. You can see that it's kind of like a almost like a north south east west you know blind um what do you call it? like uh braille uh, you know thing added to them to where it, it kind of gives you a little bit of a grip i wouldn't say it's as good as uh like the xbox 360 or even the gamecube controller the gamecube in my opinion had the best grip to its sticks but uh, same with the right stick. I mean, it does have a pretty good grip, and it does, you know, indent. You can probably easily see that. But yeah, it's not a very. Um, I mean, it's very small, so to where the the grip really doesn't matter that much because even though it's got a grip, it's a, so small that even I don't know. To me, the small the 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 fact that it's really small, like I think it helps because like. I don't know. The controller is small enough to where you never lose, um, you know, lose traction of the analog sticks. Whereas with the larger controllers, it's a little bigger. So, uh, but you know what? There's, there's never really been a problem with the regular Wii Pro controller. So now the D-pad is, I guess, the last thing I'll talk about. So the D-pad is actually practically the same as the rest of um, the pro controllers it's probably it's just I think it's just as responsive and easy to press as the other pro controller 
Uh, the design of it is kind of interesting. Not really interesting, just obviously different. They didn't want to uh, choose the exact same design as the um, Nintendo, but um, it's just, I don't know. Oh, here's an interesting thing that I um, I noticed after a while. So, so if you look at the back of the controllers, um, you can see that the plug that you use to put you know, in the back of the controllers, the USB port, um, they are reversed. I don't know why this is, but uh, I have noticed it because, you know, when I plug in, plug it into this one, I don't think, you know, I'm not, I usually, whenever I, I, I usually plug in all four of my uh, pro controllers in at the same time, so that I, I always have a controller to, um, you know, plug in. But like, the, it's just, you know, if I'm not paying attention, I'll try to plug it in and it's like, oh wait, it doesn't go that way. You have to turn it upside down. It's just noticeable. And so, yeah, I think that's all I have to say about this controller. It's, um, I actually like this controller. I've, I've probably used this, cause this is, I think this is my first pro controller that I bought. So yeah, um, I don't, I'm not sure if they sell these anymore. <laughs> Maybe they do. I haven't seen them in the stores in a while, so. But if they do, um, check this one out. I, just beware. If you have bulky hands, I probably wouldn't um, use this controller. If you have smaller hands, this is probably the best controller for you. And if you're used to the Xbox controller layout, this is the best controller for you. I wouldn't, um, like, it would be, I mean, the, the button layout would be a little bit uh, more difficult. I mean, it would still be something to get used to, but as far as the stick and button layout, this is what you need it. So, yeah, thank you for watching, and this has been the Power A Pro Controller. So, take care and carry on.